so I'm in a crawl space doing an inspection and one thing uh, I was thinking about is how encapsulating a crawl space can prevent the pipes from freezing because in an average crawl space you've got these crawl space vents and quite a few openings maybe around the door around the AC unit where that cold air is coming into the crawl space um, so when we encapsulate we're going to seal off those vents um, there's going to be a vapor barrier going up the walls and then the door is going to be sealed properly and the AC vents is going to be sealed so in an average crawl space this is what you're going to run into is um, insulation wrapped around the pipes to prevent it from freezing now that's still a good thing to have even if it's encapsulated because it's going to keep uh, the efficiency up so when you're pushing you know hot water through your pipes uh, it's going to stay hot once it gets to your sink but stuff like this is just isn't necessary with uh, an encapsulation so this customer was actually planning on installing this foam board onto the walls um, that foam board is far too thin to meet code typically it's going to be a r10 foam board on the walls if we are going to do that but um it's not necessary there's no added benefit you can't measure it so um we're going to encapsulate this crawl space treat the subfloor kill the fungal growth clean it out and put a dehumidifier down here permanently to regulate that humidity and uh, warranty it for the customer